What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a funnel just like this. N not like this? Oh, not this kind of funnel. This kind of funnel. So I'm going to show you guys how you can build a funnel in just 10-15 minutes. Really quick, really easy, and one that actually converts. So I'm going to jump on my computer and I'll show you guys right now. Now let's do a little challenge here. I want to show you guys how you can build a funnel from scratch in under 20 minutes. Now, I'm not going to build the whole funnel, but I'm going to show you how quickly you can build one page of your funnel pretty much in less than five minutes. So all I'm going to do is click add new up here. I'm just going to create a new one from the very beginning, create custom funnel, and I'll just put test here, no group, click build funnel. Now we'll say we're going to do a lead magnet funnel because this is what most people would start with. So we want someone to opt in. We're not going to use any templates. The first page will be an email opt-in. So we're going to click that and we'll go down to a blank page at the very bottom. So opt-in blank start, we'll select this. And we'll say they're going to opt in for a free book that we're going to send them. So I'm just going to edit this page here. Now, first thing I'm just going to delete this row in this section so I can start from scratch. So I'm going to add my first section here. I'm going to make sure it's full width. I'm going to add a row. Now, first one, we're going to put our headline up here. So headline, I'm going to drag this here and put something that can grab their attention. So I'll just use one of my funnels. So I'll say, learn how to start a profitable Amazon business without a huge budget and no experience. Now I'm going to click edit on this and make this a little bit bigger. So font size here. I like the way that looks right here. So that is the first thing on this page. Second, I'm going to add another row here. Now I want two things on this next row. I want a picture of what they're getting and then some bullet points. So I'm going to drag this to make the left side a little bit smaller for the image. And I'm going to put my bullet points over here. So I can click here, click image. If I click on the image and then click on the little button over here, I can choose one of my images. Now I'm going to go over. I know I have a picture of this book already. So here's the book. I click on that, click add image, and it's pretty big. So I can change the height over here. Let's just type in 300, 300 pixels, a little small, 400. We'll go with 400 for right now. If this is too close to our title, we can click on the row over here. The blue is the rows and we can add a top margin. If we do that, it's going to push everything down, up, down, up, down, and you can go somewhere in between there. You can also add padding, which kind of does sort of the same thing. So next, I'm going to add some bullet points. So I click add new element. Now you can do bullet list if you want to. That's usually pretty easy. Now I'm going to make these bigger. These are pretty small right now. Click edit on this font size. We will make bigger. It's a little big. We'll go here. Now notice how this is up top and this is kind of down low and it looks stupid. It's not even what I can do. Like I just showed you guys click this little edit top margin. I can bring that here and now it looks a little bit better or I can make this a tiny bit smaller if I wanted to and make it look even better. So I can click 375. Let's try 350. 350 might be the sweet spot. And then I'll have to move this back up a little bit there. Now I want my check marks to be a different color. So what I'm going to do here is under icon color, I will change it to red. You can see how it changed there. Now all I do is I just type out my benefits. So benefit, benefit, benefit. Um, so what are three things they're going to learn? So I put maybe five step secret system. And I put that in bold here. And then I put a little sentence about that. So learn our five step secret system that generated a thousand dollars. Now this looks a little dumb with how it's lined up. So I'm going to try and make the book a little smaller mm, that looks worse. So I'm going to drag it back 
and maybe make this font a little bit smaller. It looks a little too big now. So we're gonna go down a little bit, boom, perfect. So that's our bullet point. We'll just use that for all three. So I don't bore you guys with creating these actual bullet points. When you copy and paste it, sometimes it'll be bold like this. And you just go over here and unbold these parts. Boom, make sure you hit save every once in a while so it does save. So we have that. Now let's say we want this to be a white background here. What I can do is I can go up into columns here. Second column, you can see it highlights it over here. I can click edit. BG just stands for background. So background color of that, I can make it a different color. If I wanna make it gray, I could do that. Or if I wanted to make the writing a different color, so I could change the color of this. And if I don't like that size, we can change the padding here. And you can see it adds room up top. So I could move it left to right here. I can move it up and down and it just adds different things. So the padding now that looks dumb. So we're not going to do that. So under columns again, we will just change it back to white. And then after that, we can put more information if we want, or we can put a button. So I'm going to add a new single row. So if I do double, it'll look weird. So single row and we'll choose a button. So if we scroll down button right here, now it looks very small. We'll go red. Our text color is white. That looks fine. Choose. Yes. Give me my free book. And I'll set the action so when they open this, it opens the pop-up where they can put in that information. Now this button looks a little funky, it's still kind of small. We'll make the font a little bigger, which will make this bigger. And under advanced, we're gonna go down and look up vertical and horizontal space. So vertical, how much space does it have on the top? And how much space does it have on the sides? So I think that looks a little bit better, maybe if we had some different background colors. So if I wanna change my background, under settings up here and go background and I could change this to like a gray if I wanted to and change the opacity of it so it looks like this now I'm not a fan of that I like the white background so we will leave it like that not like that go back up here go white boom save now from here we have to make the pop-up so pop-up show pop-up we're gonna add in a row and we're gonna put a headline first and we'll just say, where should we send your book? Say it's an ebook. So after that, we just add another element and we're going to go input here and we want their email address. So we click on this. Now input type, you have to set inside of ClickFunnels. We'll go email address email address, it's required, boom. And then we'll place another button that says, give me my free book. We'll choose send me my free book, make this red again. And we'll just leave it like that. So we'll put a little top margin on this. You can get their name as well if you wanna add another input. If I wanted to change this to name, I could just put full name, first name, whatever it actually is here and change this text to your name here. Boom. Now this button, we want to submit the page because we're done with it. So submit page, capture whatever their input is, AKA the email and we're done. So if I click save here, we're done with this, right? Let's preview it and looks what it looks like. Super basic. Yes. So learn how to start Amazon, blah, 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 bullet points. Looks great. Does this work? It does. I put in an email, send me my free book. Boom. Now we don't have a thank you page, so it did submit the page. You can make a thank you page after that. And once they submit, it'll go to the next step in your funnel. But that is pretty much how you can create a landing page or any funnel very, very quickly. It's very easy to do. I was explaining it as I did it, but normally that would take me five minutes. And after you do one, you can make multiple by copying and saving different steps on here. For example, I could save this entire block if I wanted to, I could save this as a template. You can see save. So I can just paste that in there next time. So that is how you can make a funnel very, very quickly.
Now I'll show you an example of a fitness page of this, which if you guys go to link in the description for the free funnel book, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. This is my book funnel. That's pretty much just what I created, just the ugly bare bones version of it. So this is the prettier one, plain background. You can see the headline right here. So free book, five step funnel blueprint for building seven figure funnels in any niche, even as a complete beginner. See the image of the book. We have a little background that is slightly a different color. We're using contrasting colors here so they stand out, the reds and the blues. We have bullet points for what you will learn in the book. And then I did add a little section about myself and then some results and just another button where they can get it. They click the button and it says, where should we send your free book? Picture of the book, capture the name, the email, send me my free book. And that's it. That is a simple lead magnet funnel. That's all there is to it. It's just figuring out once you know the copy that's going to go on the page or the images, making the layout is the most difficult part and making it pretty. But once you know how to do it, it's very, very simple. It's easy to build in 10 minutes. Making it pretty in the small changes is what takes a little bit of time, but laying it out and getting it on the page is the first thing you need to do. And it's very simple when you know what the goal is for your funnel and what needs to be done. So that is gonna be all for this video. But before you guys go, I hope you're already on this page, but if you want the free book, put your info in. Just like I showed you, it's a lead magnet. Yes, you will be added to my email list. There's a lot of good value in this book. And I'm also holding a free workshop if you guys wanna register for that. That link will be in the description as well. I'm gonna be going over the exact five-step process that I personally used to make $2.7 million in the last 12 months. So hopefully I'll see you guys on there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.